Hey guys, um, I don't really want to read any more SCP Wiki. I prefer video games, honestly. I might, I might read more SCPs if someone writes a good one, but I'm gonna try playing some of the guy right now. You might have. You might have heard of it. When it came out, they called it a Spelunky clone. And it kind of is. In the same way, like, uh... Darkwoods or Project Zomboid clone. It's the same format. Or, like, Minecraft's a Terraria clone. Or... However that works. Anyway, I play sort of... I get an anxious sort of play style. And this is a game with a lot of inventory management. And this game's notoriously obnoxious with its inventory management. So I don't really manage my inventory too much. I'll pick one item or something. The game's pretty easy, so I don't worry too much about it. So yeah, I just sort of rushed through it. So I had a audio recording troubles. I put an axe on. I put the dash on. I used to read Jump Notion. I opened this door. So uh, here we go. I've, I've always watched like Let's Players and stuff, and I wonder, like, they play video games all the time. How are they so crappy at the video games? I'm not making excuses, but I think it has to do with multitasking. Usually this is it's really easy. I'm having trouble. Anyway, I hope I hope, uh, hope this content is preferable to the, the SCP content. It's so gorgeous out right now. Check it out. Wish I could leave the house, but I can't. Look at it. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do a highlight format because I'm not I'm not naturally a very talkative person, so it's it's hard to focus or like find something to comment on throughout the whole thing. But uh, I'm gonna practice at it. So this guy, the trick is you only hit him when his hands stop moving. And I went holy, so I'm gonna have some resistance to his eye stuff. But he can easily kill you like that. So you just gotta dodge those three. It's really simple. I don't know why I'm complicating it. So just dodge the three, and then go in and hit him with the axe, and that's that's the only pattern. Also, if you have the if you have the dash, if you use it and then charge towards him, you get extra damage off of it. If you do it correctly, which I did not do right there. Dash is really good. It gives you a lot of utility. And just like that, he's dead. So I grab this chest, make sure I have a key, so I can open the other secret route, and we're done. I don't really waste any time exploring the whole level. I'm like that with most games, I just sort of rush through it. I beat the last level too, I couldn't find anything worth mentioning, so I just skipped past it. So this is level 2 of the forest. And we have a key, so we can go to the secret route, but we're gonna be like one level down. So I gotta kill whoever this boss is. I'm just gonna skip past this. I'm just gonna ignore this plant. It's kinda, kinda inconvenient, you know. I'm gonna need some health soon, because I've been playing sort of fast and loose. Gotta get serious. Uh, the cool thing playing on Holy though, is you have a... You can go down to one HP once, once every level. 
get a little risk for dying. And thanks for watching my Let's Play of the Gap.